Hey guys, what's up? I am Pronoops from State 12 and today in this new video we will be watching special ant formation for shooter ants. So please like this video, share this video with your friends and also subscribe my channel for more such guides. So let us start this video without wasting any time. I have made a comprehensive and short video for this. So the first choice which I am going to show you is developer's choice. So basically if you will go to recommended lineup then you can see shooters create type lineup. So basically developers has recommended this lineup. You can see season special ant lineup recommendation and obviously since it is here it is being suggested by the developers itself. So if you will go down then you will see the damage carry of the lineup is by Sperishkar, Nimble, Tree and and can assist to increase the number of normal attacks. Predator can be put in the front row so that the defense of all the uh, to increase the defense of all the type of shooter ants. So if you will go to Predator and you will check out uh, his skills so you can see uh, effective range is just 2. If you will put even it after the first row then it will not be mostly effective. And even 2 random friendly squad, 1 random enemy squad and here you can see it's on squad. So basically uh, it has just one skill which can just fight for fight against the enemy others are just a supportive skill so that he can assist your other special ants other special ants in your formation so basically if you will see me that uh, can i put it with all other special ants and all so almost i will say no but it has some effect if you will see then he has shooter ants health 15 percent and 10 percent so total 25% shooter ant health this predator is giving you. So obviously it can slightly take a charge of slim marker and or giant tooth in the front row. But the main reason which I would not like to put him in the front row is if you will see in the first three round two random shooter ant squad skill damage received is reduced. But before the end of this effect heal the ants in squad and healing ratio is also higher. If you will see this too, then uh, special and damage too and reduce their skill damage of next time by 30%. And this one too is also good. The normal attack and skill damage received are reduced by 25% and meanwhile the normal attack of backline squad increases by 100%. So the, uh, by, uh, whichever squad, whichever special ant is leading the backward squad, his Obviously his attack will be increased by 100% but one thing he is missing is the skills. What skills he is missing? So the first skill which I would like to say is the silence skill. The silence skill with uh, gold armor or giant tooth have. Let us go to giant tooth and here if you will check out then you can see silence effect. It disables the combat skill for two rounds and even uh, he has some damages too which all the skills are hi of higher levels moreover if you will see then his awakening skill has also came which can trigger once per round giant tooth squad has a 50 percent chance to 200 percent damage to the enemy squad with its with the lowest power so basically one more skills has been added now uh, in his uh, skill after you awaken his skills so that is why i will prefer more giant tooth even than slim marker if you will go to slim marker then for now there is no skill awakening if you successfully take the skill awakening benefit then this giant tooth will cannot be replaced you can even start up and you can even use it in the pvp battles so all the discussion today we are doing is all pvp battles the second thing guys the second thing is they have also recommended a uh, general lineup for universal ants so if you will go here and if you will check out the universal lineup then they are showing that you can use the damage carrying of the lineup is crimson fragger it ignoring the high defense with a piercing effect ruby cylinder is responsible for recovering troops and decreasing the damage of the opponent dusky lurker can greatly increase the damage output of these two special ants too so basically dusky lurker again here is a supportive type ant which you can also use if you will tell me that if you want to eliminate any of these special ants, then whom will you eliminate so i will say that uh, the one which i can eliminate is ravi's 
cylinder. If he will come here, then you can see his effective range is 3 and just one random enemy squad. Even, uh, but if you will see here, 100% chance to deal an enemy squad damage dealt by 15.5% and up to just he can deal 20% damage, but that is 100% which will last just for two rounds. So, he is dealing damage less but for two round continuous. When a battle start, defense of all our squads increased by 42% in the first three round. In the squad, the normal attack and skill damage received are reduced by 20.5% and it has also some healing ratio too. So basically this is also good but if you will say me it, it also doesn't consist of any of the skill which can help you to disable the enemy's attack or something like that. So I would prefer that uh, and even uh, he doesn't have much damage giving skills too. And he is increasing your defense and in the first three rounds its squad attack and skill damage are received are reduced by 20% so the damage you are getting will be received by 20.5% so obviously that is not much better compared to the other special hands which we have here in the category like dusky lurker and crimson fragger but developers has recommended this maybe uh, currently i do not have all the three special and to perform my action so i cannot perform that but i would not recommend this so what would be my rec my recommendation so let us go and let us check it out first of all so guys here I have made a small chart here you can see uh, front mid back rows developers choice predator nimble tree and vice versa and then uh, my personal choice. In my personal choice as you can see in the first paragraph I have written slim marker giant tooth in the uh, front row and if you will uh, if you have awakening a skill of golden tooth then obviously don't think about slim marker just put the golden tooth there and for mid row you can choose crimson fragger or nimble triant because you know that crimson fragger has a skill of five so he can deal the damage to the till the last row and at the same time this nimble triant has a i think skill of four or five something like that itself but it also uh, lacks in the damage output compared to the crimson fragger so that is why i am recommending you can use crimson fragger uh, if you do not if you have it if you do not have it use nimble triant and obviously in Vice Versker and Reap Master you also know what to use. Basically here you haven't seen much the skill of Vice Versker but yeah Vice Versker is also one of the ideal choice. Uh, but currently I do not own it. Uh, it is really tougher to get you can just get the, it during the season uh, after season has uh, I think uh, alternate week they launch the heroes in that only you can get it. So otherwise you cannot get it. Uh, I also haven't it right now. So I cannot check it. But I think that Vice Verisker can be deadlier than the Reap Master. The other formations which you can use if you do not have the Season Ants. Slim Marker or Giant Tooth. So Giant Tooth even if you pass the 3 months in the server. Then you can get this Giant Tooth with you. Uh, giant Tooth Awakening Skills too if you can get. So that can be beneficial for you. You can even awaken it and you can use it. The second thing is guys, you can also use Slim Marker, Giant Tooth, golden, Gold Armor or Golden Sugar in the mid position too. So basically, if you will tell me uh, what to use in the mid position uh, for PvP, uh, if you are a beginner or if you are in a middle stage of the game, then I will tell you use uh, Slim Marker giant tooth and in the last row you can use either if you have a reap master you can use reap master you can if you have crimson fragger then you can use it because uh, but yeah to get the crimson fragger you need to have a lost island in your server too and the third option can be jack jumper all the or golden sugar acid general too but yeah uh, I, I will not prefer acid general because he has less damage output but he has higher attack then jack jumper but his damage output is really low if you have reap master reap master is the biggest priority then the second biggest priority can be crimson fragger third one will be jack jumper fourth one will be golden sugar and the fifth one which i would recommend you is uh, acid general if you do not have them then don't think much about it uh, i think that everyone has jack jumper everyone has uh, slim arcan and everyone has giant tooth so you can use this formation too uh, since i have now got uh, this reap master so i have eliminated jack jumper from my list obviously now i have crimson fragger too so i have also eliminated that too so currently i am using slim marker or giant tooth the second one is crimson fragger and the third one is reap master so that is my current formation for pvp 
for uh, pve uh, let me just so uh, let me just tell you a small recommendation don't use at any cost nimble tree and they are not going to give you much damages because yeah uh, today i have used and in 70 year uh, that uh, nimble tree hand has used 17 skills and didn't did much damage because it doesn't have a damage output skills so since it doesn't have damage output skills he will not do damage any damage to your to the groundhog because groundhog doesn't need healing ratio it needs the how much damage you can deal so that is why i am telling all the soldier all the special ants which has healing ratio you can eliminate that from groundhog directly because yeah i think that groundhog do not attack us we just attack the, those groundhog and we just do the damage and depending on our skills we get the output so my final call is uh, for small spenders or even for non spenders for beginners slim marker giant tooth and jack jumper is one of the ideal choice if you have reap master then you can replace the reap master with uh, with jack jumper and you can even uh, replace slim marker with gold armor you can use gold armor you can use gold armor uh, jack jumper and at the end you should use reap master if you have got crimson fragger then you can use gold giant tooth giant tooth then you can use crimson fragger and then you can use reap master which will also give you higher damage output and at the same time you can it, it is also better for pvp battles for the uh, and the other choices which i can recommend you but yeah that is not my good recommendation but i think that that is an ideal recommendation slim marker or giant tooth crimson fragger nimble tree and or and or at the end vice breaker or reef master you can if you have just two of them then also you can exchange them apart so that uh, 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 according to their ranges that is how much uh, enemy how till which row they can attack the enemy troops and all so that's it guys tomorrow we will discuss about pve uh, what is the sequence of pve in this scenario and then we will move ahead to the guardian we will move ahead to the just uh, normal just universal and then we will also go to the carrier ants basically i do not have much idea about carrier and guardian ants but i will try to gather information with the help of you all with the help of our audience with the help of the ants community and then we will move ahead. Thank you guys. See you soon.